Hi, this is Dave Giesel at Anarchapulco, and we're here with our first guest. Uh, he's going to introduce himself and tell you what his venture is all about. Thank you so much. Uh, my, my name is Joey Flores, and I'm from Ecuador. Um, we are developing a um, uh, software uh, principally to educate people. Uh, but to get to that point, we first need to be, we need to get a lot of people involved with the app. And for that, we created um, an application that we're going to be very convenient for most of the people. So in a, small, uh, in, in a few words, what we are trying to do print, uh, at the beginning is to uh, make supermarkets obsolete. One of the key features of our application is that Normally, people don't want to spend hours uh, doing the, or buying their groceries. Mm -hmm. So uh, those big supermarkets, they have an old business model that is the technology. It should be have it have been died a long time, a long time ago. So we are trying to help them to die as soon as possible. Right. Right. So, um, how are we going to do that? First, well, our the the, the application has the, the core idea is to buy your groceries that's how you you need something for your week for to, to eat during the week you can select all of your items via the application and you get them to the, in the front door that kind of application uh, exists already in latin america here in mexico there's something called rapi and in ecuador there's something called globo they buy your food and they they deliver that to your place the difference, or the main difference uh, with uh, our application from theirs is that they are practically the delivery team of the bigger supermarket, the biggest supermarket. So it's built on the same system. Exactly. So okay. they are just uh, they're part of the system or the part of the corporations. And what we want to do is to decentralize that. And in Latin America, we have a good chance to do that because the culture they are in here. There are a lot of small businesses called tiendas, and you have you, you have you gotta know them because if you've been traveling around Latin America, you know that in every country, in every city, in every block, you find a tienda. That is a small store that has everything, the products that you probably need for a week or for for the month. And what we are trying to do is to create a, for them, for the, the owners of these businesses, a small. Uh, digital inventory. They can upload all of the pros they have and we get the data in the, our database and then we promote that to, uh, in our application. So the, we, the algorithm, we know where are all the products uh, uh, divided and, and all of the areas near your house and we can calculate the, the route for the delivery uh, person to to get uh, all of your items to your home. So he can find the closest places exactly. that have all of that, Exactly, right? yeah. yeah. The, the, the algorithm selects the closest uh, store and they obviously the cheaper ones because uh, our, our rules is going to be all, it's like, if the, it's not too far and it's, it's cheaper than the one that uh, has the same distance and you go to the one that is cheaper, right? Sure. And, well, um, there is, this has to be very convenient for the end user and we have a lot of features that make more productive uh, the, the way you do your, your grocery, you, you, you buy your groceries. For example, most of the people, and I put this on my, my personal experience, that when you go to a supermarket you buy everything you need, but you go to your house and you don't know what to cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you always end up uh, cooking the same thing over and over again. So we have a feature called meal planning, where you have you you, you the, the application allows you to put the exact numbers of the members of your family. So say for example you have five members in your family, and then after that it presents you with uh, thousands of recipes around uh, around the world. If you want to eat on Monday Chinese food, you select what kind of food the dish. Uh, the dishes for all the week, you know? and the application at the end will say, uh, calculate all of the ingredients and in the exact amount of for the people that you are cooking. Okay, so that's one of the features. Um, 
Another of the, fe the features we have is the, the social media inside of the application. Then uh, there is many people who likes to post uh, pictures of their food. Yeah, sure. But that's normal in everyone yep. in, in, in every family. So this is going to be like for the like a food Instagram for them. Um, yeah. Well, what what is our end uh, goal with this application? Well, first, we need to be accepted and adopted by the mainstream uh, community. With a, um, where, where are you launching? Where are you going to start? In Ecuador. Uh, in, Ecuador. in Ecuador. In like Quito or or Guayaquil? Uh, yeah, we had given already the service in a small part of Guayaquil. Okay. And we came here to an Arcapulco to find uh, partners to expand our operations to the whole city and then to the whole country. Sure. After that, well, we kept up with the, with the rest of Latin America. What is, the, what is the name of the app? La Tienda. La Tienda. Yeah, just like the, the that's the common denominator of every, in every city, in every country in Latin America. Because you know, when you go to Argentina, uh, the uh, the mattress is called somier, and Colombia is called colchón, and for example, there are many other uh, products that they don't have the same name, but they they are. Um, hey, for example, What's, a what's car. Here, some yeah. called some parts are called carro, another part are called vehículo. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. But La Tienda is the same in all of these countries. Even okay. here in Mexico, uh, you, you, you can ask him, where is a tienda? And everybody is going to know what are you asking. So, um, the final goal of this is to educate people about what, about the truth that we are living. But for that, we first will have to uh, catch the ones that are ready to have the message, to receive the message. Because you know, there are so many people that you start talking about these issues and they don't have any clue what you're saying. So it's not, uh, so it's not easy for some of the people. But with the data that we gather, uh, we know who of them are ready to receive that information. Okay. Okay, so. The important part here is that we were trying to, to in order to educate and in order to uh, uh, get all of these people together, we kind of need a way of communication, right? And that will be the internet. Yeah, yeah right. Sure. It's the internet. Unfortunately, the internet is controlled by uh, most of the corporations and the big governments and. What we are trying to do is once the application, once this application is adopted, we are going to make an upgrade. That upgrade is going to be a, uh, with a small hardware, a small device. Oh yeah. That device is going to be in every uh, one of these small businesses. It's its own network. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So the, the la tienda in, the, in that corner will be connected to the other tienda in that other corner, and that is going to be connected to the bakery, to the liquor store, to the hardware store, to the pharmacies, and all over the place in Latin America. Right. Once we have that, we are uh, the, then. Uh, I mean, that is the, in the, like the, the final goal. The, the, but after that, probably we we have uh, a lot of regulations by the governments sure. and. A lot of troubles uh, for them, and they probably could have uh, even dissolve the company and things like that. But uh, when we have the the network already done with the protocols and all of the uh, tools they need, we are practically trying to make also governments obsolete, politicians obsolete. Yeah, yeah. The coordination is no longer needed. The exactly. the people with food can coordinate directly. Correct. Yeah, and in like a disaster scenario or an emergency. Yes. You know where the food is and how to get it there. Yeah. And yeah. The other resources are going to be well organized yeah. and you won't need a politician to tell you. So, what I think it probably is going to happen is that the politicians will uh, sense that this is happening one way or another and when the devices uh, all over the cities, they will probably try to send the police or the military to take out those devices. Fortunately unless for unless us, their families are using it. Exactly. Right. Fortunately for us, all of these police and soldiers, they are uh, part of, uh, they're members of uh, poor families. 
they're part of the community. Be, exactly, they're yeah. part of the community. So they want to think why I'm doing this to people like me. Yeah. Because any politician tells me to do, and that's for me uh, or for us, the, our way to make all of them understand that government is not useful at all. Yeah. And uh, instead of instead of being help uh, uh, or support to the community, is the contrary. And well, obviously for that we are we, we have to educate a lot to tell to make them realize that they are anarchists. That obviously they were brainwashed since the birth, and that we can live in a world without government. Sure. And in Latin America, we have that that opportunity. That's very cool. That's very cool. The so Joey and La Tienda. Yes. How do people find you online? At, um, is there a website for the project? Yes, yes, there is a website, but we don't have it uh, finished yet. We are we are here in, a, in an archipelago to find partners because uh, our operation is still very small. And okay. most of the people that are working with, with us, they are working for shares of the company. And we cannot do that, uh, you understand, because most of the people, they, they don't need shares. No, they, they need, need, need money. A, they, they need, exactly. Yeah. And, and uh, later on, later on, on that network, we are going to develop more protocols to make other things obsolete. And well, uh, that is something for, uh, for example, one of the bigger problems that we found is that uh, we, I say, we the people don't use so much logic in our lives. You know, for example, all of the people have this illogical thought that they say, or they think, that we need money. You know, you, you hear every, every, every person in Latin America say, I need money, I want money, I don't have money. Like it's going, like it's oxygen. Yeah, right. You know, or like it's water. Yeah. And for example, I can understand somebody who says, I, I need water. That is logical, because if you don't drink water, you die. But money does not have the same effect. Yeah. So what people should understand is that they don't need money. They need a better quality of life. Yeah, right. Exactly. And you, obviously, at this moment and in, in in, in this day and age, you, you need money in order to get a better meal, a better house, a better car, uh, medicine if you get sick or things like that. But we forgot that that we don't have and we concentrate and the tool that is supposed to give us those things. Right. So one of the protocols is going to be to change that idea, okay. change that thought in people's mind. That could probably take years, decades, but we, with La Tienda and with all the other protocols, we're trying to make people understand that we don't need to depend on politics, we don't need to depend on uh, economists or money, and everyone should uh, and could have the best life they, ha they, they, they could have uh, with all of these illogical thoughts that we are dealing with. Yeah, just within their community. Yes. Yeah, that's very cool. Very cool. Thank you for the interview. Thank you so much, David. Yeah. You. We'll link up um, as your website comes online. We'll link it up in the video. Okay, thank yeah. you so much. I'm going to give me your email and we'll, I will give you more information. Very good. Very good. So yeah, thank you.